Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today. What I'm going to be bringing you is a Walsall FC versus Bradford City match vlog. If you do go on to enjoy today's video, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could try and hit 150 likes on today's video, that would be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 7,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on. It's free to do so and it does massively help out. Get your thoughts on today's game as well down in the comment section down below. Now we've won five out of our last six matches. Walsall haven't won it since New Year's Day, but they do have a very, very good side. Obviously they started out the season with Danny Johnson as their main man. He was recalled by Mansfield. I think he's actually loan expired and they weren't able to agree a deal with the two clubs. So Danny Johnson has gone back to Mansfield. I was still really impressed though by some of their January recruitment, signing both Jamil and Matt and Matt Stevens, obviously Matt on a permanent and Stevens on loan from Forest Green Rovers. I think that's two brilliant signings and for whatever reason hasn't really worked out since the January window or since the turn of the new year. No win in the league since New Year's Day, which I think actually was that game against Mansfield, wasn't it? But it's going to be a very tough one in terms of a score prediction though. I think we either win 2-1 or 3-0. I'm going to bat the boys though for a 3-0 win. I'm going to go Andy Cook to get another goal against one of his former sides. Harry Chapman to score and I'm also going to go with Sam Stubbs to get his first goal for the Bantams. Make sure to drop a like on today video subscribe if you're new as well and I shall see you all down at the best scope. Before we actually do get down to the best scope we do have Walsall fan at Super Sadler Serbi giving his thoughts and opinions ahead of today's match. Make sure to go check out his channel the link is down in the description down below he'll be doing a match day vlog for this one as well so hopefully we win he'll get all the limbs and all that sort of stuff on camera so go check out his video the link will be in the description down below and enjoy. Hello everyone on Sam's channel Sam has asked me to come onto the channel and give more thoughts ahead of tonight's game against Bradford City. You're on good form. I think you've won five of the last six games and it's going to be a tough game. We're not on very good form. Um, we're winless in 10 games in all competitions and we're playing not the greatest football at the moment. So we've got to be at our best if we want to get anything at the game. Um, we've drew a lot of games at the moment, so um, I probably wouldn't take a draw. We're just in dire need of a win and surely tonight is the night we get a win because we haven't won in the league since New Year's Day, which we beat Mansfield 2-1. So I'm going to be optimistic. Um, I'm always positive in my score predictions. I'll go over 1-0 win to Warsaw. Going to go Tom Knowles to get the goal. So yeah, thank you for having me on the channel, um, Sam. Enjoy the video and up the Saddlers. This could possibly be one of the worst views you'll ever get in the way again. What on the earth can you see down the bottom? Come on, Siddy. I've also seen the sausage roll, which is about 3,000 degrees. Time wasting at home at nil nil.
Lewis, Lewis, Lewis. City. City. Their play stood less than a meter away from the wall. I mean about the time wasting. It's embarrassing. Your support! Your support! Your support is fucking shit! Your support is fucking shit! Half time, no no. We're playing for their time wasting, just smashing it long. It's been a really boring half. <laughs> Seem much better the second half. First change of the game, Leighton off, Banks on, second change of the game, Gilead off, East on, probably a change in formation now. Scotty, Scotty Banks, Scotty Banks, Scotty, Scotty Banks, na 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 Come on Costello man! We support the city, 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 and that's the way we like it, we like it, we like it. Change of the game, Costello off, Quickshaw on. So he's got a free kick right on the edge of the box. Four minutes ended on the end of today's game. Smallwood looks like he's going to take it. Come on, today! 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 Come on, today. What a letdown. What a letdown. Look at this time wasting. It's nil nil. You're at home and they're time wasting. What sort of mentality is that? Come on, City, please. Full time, nil nil. Really, really frustrating. Big opportunity missed that. Big, big opportunity missed. Just one of them in the end. Just one of them. They had a lot of balls into the box. Didn't really have much on product, but they were definitely there for the taking. The defenders, to be fair to them, done a really good job there. Frustrating, but we got to get on Saturday. Got to win on Saturday now. And the Andy Cook. And the Andy Cook. He gets the ball, he scores the goal. And the Andy Cook. And the Andy Cook. He gets the ball, he scores the goal. And the Andy Cook. Well, I actually think on the balance of play, it's more of a point gained last night rather than two points dropped. Going into the game, I would have said a draw would have been two points dropped, but upon the reflection of the performance and all that sort of stuff, I think a point probably. We're a bit lucky to come out of a point, with a point, sorry, from that match. We didn't really create all too much last night, to be honest with you. I think the players looked absolutely knackered. You know, we needed changes before the game, in my opinion. We should have started out with a 4-3-3, 4-2-3, or whatever you want to call it, because playing the diamond when they're playing a very wide five at the back, we really should struggled at times and they're putting lots of balls into our box. Granted, we didn't really have too much to deal with, you know, they had a couple of shots from range, I think Connor Wilkinson had a few in the first half, pretty comfortably saved though by Harry Lewis. The second half we had a little bit towards the end, you know, we were starting to grow into the game once we made some subs but there were some really, really poor performances last night. I thought Ryde Alg on the ball had a really, really poor game, Matty Platt's short distribution, really, really poor. Dara Costello, I'm still yet to be convinced by him, I don't really see what he offers to be honest with you on the ball. He makes a lot of good runs but when you need some creativity and all that sort of stuff, having Gilead and Costello as your wingers is absolutely crazy in my opinion. When you've got players like Banks on the bench, they didn't even come on until 15 minutes ago. Harry Chapman just sat on the bench, I just, 
yeah, interesting decisions last night from Mike Hughes, and I expect to see some changes on Saturday because the players look knackered. We need to be a bit more creative going forward. And apart from that, it was either a header, I think, from Cook in the first half, which is the bar or the post, I'm not really too sure. I haven't had the opportunity to look at it back. Apart from that, we didn't really have anything really clear cut to be honest with you. Even that Cook chance was more of a heart chance. We had that free kick near the end as well, which Banks put over, which was quite disappointing. But overall, take the point. Frustrating it wasn't three, but we go again on Saturday away at Newport. Thank you very much for watching today's video. If you have enjoyed it, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could try and hit 150 likes, I know it's a big target for a nil-nil draw, but that would be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road, 7,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on. It's free to do so and it does massively help out. Get your thoughts on yesterday's draw down in the comment section down below. Check out Seb's vlog as well. The link is down in the description down below. Thank you for watching today's video. Have a good rest of your day and I shall see you all on Saturday for New Portaway. Peace.